Ahoy hoy! Welcome to another Dank Memes video where I go over a long list of SCP memes submitted from the Dank Memes from Site19 subreddit. Let's get started. Oh, right, this is like a alignment chart, but for cognito hazards. Well, no, not really. Because, I don't know, cognito hazard is really. It's non hazardous to know about. Hazardous to observe and hazardous to touch. Those aren't technically by definition cognito hazards, I think, but it doesn't matter. The whole reason, the only reason that I bothered including this was because it includes Rocco's Basilisk. And obviously, you should look up what Rocco's Basilisk is. You'll you'll really you'll really enjoy it. The important part is, is that I'm sharing it with you and therefore propagating the effect of the cognito hazard. You should look it up. I could do a whole video actually <laughs> on Rocco's Basilisk, but it wouldn't be SCP themed, so I probably won't. It is fun though. And it would be interesting if you included something like Ro well, you know, Rocco's Basilisk could be something in the SCP universe, but anyway. The Gate Guardian <laughs> Clear Missiles SCP Foundation. The 2004 Indian Ocean Tsunami. <laughs> Why would the Gate Guardian do this? I... Hmm. There are, to my knowledge, three different SCPs on the SCP Wiki, including the Gate Guardian is one of them, uh, that purport to be the source of the 2004 Indian Ocean Tsunami. Not all of them are explicit about it, but I think one or two of them are. Um, so, the Indian Ocean Tsunami was apparent, I think it, maybe it was a confluence of events caused by multiple SCPs going haywire at the same time. Who knows? Me, who said something about SCP. Have mercy, please. There is no mercy. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Uh, I love the comments on this. <laughs> this, though, actually, it's the only one I still have open because I saved it. Uh, the first one is, I hate him. I hate him so much. Who is that? Oh, one of the SCP writers who has his own YouTube channel. And no, he is not just the guy who says you're wrong about the SCP Foundation, which is true. That's nice. And then someone replies, you're wrong about that. Seriously, though, Dr. Sumerian, the boring anime antagonist. And then finally, the best comment. That's how it feels. He's right most of the time because of how there's no canon and he's been part of the group for a long time. Although I'm not sure what you mean by group. Maybe writers? I don't know. But he's such an asshole about it. That's nice. That's a nice feeling. Anyway, <laughs> Clef is way more chaotic than Bright and is the one that should have a list for what he can't do. Agreed. A game with a high budget, a game with a low budget. SCP games. The, wait, what? Are there any SCP games with a high budget? Not that I can think of. I mean, you could, if you consider SCP inspired games. Uh, to be SCP games, but I don't. Like, Control is inspired by the SCP Foundation, uh, but it's not an SCP game. And I can't think of any that have high budgets. They're all working on a shoestring budget, and some of them do better with it than others, but... Mm -hmm. If I'm wrong... Yeah, if I'm wrong and somebody can think of an like a full-on SCP game that actually has a decent budget, we're talking like hundreds of thousands or more then let me know scientists measuring every variable to ensure a better understanding of the anomaly <laughs> misspelled anomaly let's check some d class at the fire breathing <laughs> meat grinder that ought to do the trick yeah there's a lot of scps on the s on the wiki that uh oh boy the scp foundation as portrayed early on is comically incompetent I mean, it's so comically incompetent they even created a whole canon called Lull Foundation to allow them to be eat to, to because they were like, that's a neat story idea. Let's do more stuff where they're comically incompetent. <laughs> oh man, yeah, it's it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> I'm immortal. 
The SCP Foundation 682. What does that mean? It means we should try and kill him. O5 Council. No, it doesn't. I'm, I'm doing voices I think fit these characters because I don't know the voices of the SpongeBob characters. Termination test log. Stop it, guys. He's adapting. <laughs> oh, my God. This is exactly what I was just talking about. That the SCP Foundation has this thing where it's like, oh yeah, let's uh, let's just be fucking stupid for a while. Uh, as a plot point, let's make our characters really d do dumb things has always bothered me. Um, and it's nice that the SCP Foundation mostly doesn't do this kind of stuff anymore. And hasn't for about five years now, at least. Dr. Brighton memes. Haha, <laughs> Chainsaw Go Burr. Dr. Brighton lore. I want to die. Though, let's be fair. Like, even... This is, again, same exact problem. Early on, Dr. Bright was more meme -y than he was serious. I think what happens is that the writers, like, create these characters, and then they have fun with them. And because they had fun with them, they become super popular. But then they think, ah, oh, man, I should become... I should do this more seriously. I gotta be a serious writer. And then, you know shit happens and they're like try to make it more serious and it's good stuff because they've spent a long time and they have gained experience with writing so it's good stuff but it just doesn't strike the same chord with everybody and it's not as shareable and it's not as memeable and <laughs> this is how characters become more realistic here providing a reason for disliking a skip so the author can improve their writing skills downvote without commenting okay I'm going to look you in the camera. Anyone, the, the guy who posted this and anyone else who looks at it and goes, yeah, that happens to me all the time. I'm going to talk to you. I'll give you a very short little monologue here. It's not going to be that bad, but you got to listen, okay? Your writing process should not include posting it to the wiki to get feedback. Yes, you can get feedback from posting it to the wiki, but you should have a finished quality product before it goes up if people don't comment that's not really i mean i love having comments on my articles this the more comments they have I, i'd rather have like people talking about how they like it more than i <laughs> more than i would like to have the upvotes but the upvotes are really nice too um but in the end nobody owes you anything at all they don't know like sorry man if you didn't get it, if you didn't get it to a high enough quality before you posted it, that's your problem, not anyone else's. And it's no one else's responsibility to help you fix it. You want to improve your writing skills? Improve your writing skills. That's it. You don't write shit, throw it up and be like, how come no one's helping me get better? You're supposed to do that before you post it. Post it when you're comfortable with it. But if you post it and you're comfortable, that's the lesson. That's you learning to get better. <laughs> that you look in and going, you know what? My self-evaluation of what is and isn't a high-quality article may not be good. I think I need to work on that. Anyway, have an idea for an SCP? Write a synopsis and post it to Reddit. Can't make an account on the SCP Wiki. Can't make an account on the SCP Wiki. I am... Okay, so there are genuinely serious barriers that probably need to be dealt with on the SCP Wiki for joining. But I swear to you, swear to you, if you are committed to joining and you do the work and you take the time and it's not just a lark, this is the thing, it's the fucking thing. If it's a lark, you're like, I'm going to join the SCP Wiki and write a thing. And then you try it and it doesn't work. And then you just stop. That's on you. Well, no, that's on both of you, the wiki and you. If you take that, if you're really committed to joining the SCP wiki, you will be able to join the SCP wiki. Full stop. There's a lot of barriers. The system is broken as fuck, but it does work if you take the time to make it work. And if you don't, again, that's on you. Killing an enraged god. This is about the GOC. <laughs> Killing an enraged god. Nobody talks about that. Nobody wants to talk about that. Making a chair into angry woodchaps. Oh my god! You monsters! <laughs> I, well, the point about the... Okay. 
the funny part is, is that the G, honestly, the GOC is, is I'm never, I've never been a big fan of it. Like, uh, a lot like the chaos insurgency is just meant to be like a, um, uh, a reflection of what the SCP foundation isn't to make the SCP foundation seem cooler and or better. And by better, I mean like not so much the bad guys. <laughs> um, but in the end, the GOC is pretty boring. And so it's interesting. That's the problem. It's boring in and of itself. Like, JoJo Mc, uh, McRiderson on the SCP Wiki is not going to create some better version. Maybe he can't. I'm not saying he can't. But it's probably not going to create some better version of the giant governmental organization that destroys all uh, evil whatevers. Uh, but... He can deconstruct that very common trope in fiction that exists all over the place with the wood chipping of a chair and show how it's not a good idea. That is a novel concept. And it's not a fully novel concept that exists as well out there, but it is more novel than the base concept, which is why it's more popular. The GOC is boring. I mean, people can make it not boring, but the GOC is pretty boring. It's tactical. It's fucking, they destroy things. Ugh. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, is that the last one? That is the last one. Well, I hope you enjoyed all of the memes today. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking of doing, you, you guys can let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in this. I'm thinking of doing a reaction. I have not watched it yet. I'm not sure if I want to do a blind reaction or if I want to watch it first and then, um, actually react to it. But I'm thinking of doing a reaction to, uh, SCP Overlord on the channel. Just doing my standard critique of story, sound design, directing, editing, and acting. Uh, I have an inclination from the from the way people talk about it that my uh, I'm going to like it. So it may not be as interesting as I think it's going to be. It's only interesting if I have things that I can point out that it's doing wrong, which is sad about our society, but is very true about society and this channel. <laughs> it's much more interesting to be able to point out the things that something is doing wrong than the things it's doing right. Nobody wants to pay attention to the things that things are doing right, but I, we'll see. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea. I'm probably going to do it anyway, but I am curious what the what you guys think. Then head on down and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And I'm talking directly to you, Ethan. Hit the subscribe button. I know you've been watching my YouTube videos and not being subscribed. You got to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, Ethan. This isn't a joke. Then head on over to patreon.com forward slash DeSumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted and Sinjariki, who have both pledged at $100, and Morgan, who has pledged at $40. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday.